Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone and welcome back to the 25th day of our third season here on One Hour Limit Locked. We have, let me tell you, some spicy stuff to do today. Some spicy, spicy stuff. I spent most of yesterday internally questioning whether or not it was worth bursting the armored zombies at all. And I believe I have the answer to that question. Well, no, I don't have the answer to that question, but... We're going to expand on it, and we are going to spend at least one more day there for a reason that I will explain ever so shortly. All right, if we got everything we need for Birdhouse, I think we're good. So, for those who don't know, there was a massive combat rebalance change made. The news post, I would highly recommend going to read if you haven't already. Lots of changes to magic, lots of changes to uh, elemental weaknesses, and also to ranged ammo types. So, lots of just small but also big changes came through and one of the ones that we are going to be focusing on today is the magic changes. Now, I actually went and made a plan yesterday of a pivot. You know we love a good pivot here on one hour limit locked, so I've, I made a pivot plan. I was quite happy with it and that plan involved basically training our magic up to 70 while doing melee defense training so that we could use an occult necklace for a plus 10% magic damage buff. Well, they finally updated the occult necklace today. It now only gives a 5% bonus. 70 magic requirement for that, by the way, if I was unclear. And instead, that 5% that it lost, we can now get with blood bark. Sorry, I'm just going to get on my farming run before I keep talking. Yeah, so blood bark, the bottom's top and hat now give an extra 1% magic damage buff each which means we can get 3% out of those and Mystic Might gives 2% magic damage. So we are now going to be praying Mystic Might which is going to sap our prayer and we're not going to have as much prayer gear on because we'll be wearing Blood Bark instead. But as a result we get a massive 5% damage increase today. Now, I'm not saying that's necessarily enough to warrant the use of bursting still, but it's definitely enough to make me curious enough to go back. So I'm going to get some blood back. I'm going to get a couple more prayer pots, I guess, and then we're going to head back over there with our plus five magic damage buff and do probably another day and just, just see how it goes. And if I do, still don't like it after that, that's fine. We can go and move on to the pivot plan, which is just as valid still with the new changes. But I think it's worth testing out. Like, we actually got a read yesterday with we we're on like 30k defense an hour, right? So theoretically, we should see a 5% increase to that today. Actually, theoretically, we should see a much larger increase to it today because there's another change that I forgot to mention. And that is they have removed the delay when auto-casting spells. There has previously always been a slight delay, like one tick, when you auto-cast a spell from your combat options rather than casting it directly from the spell book and they have finally gotten rid of it which means every time we move trying to stack up people zombies we should be attacking one tick faster than previously which would be quite substantial you'd think if you're saving one tick on every attack but i've no idea how how much we'll actually feel the effects of it until we get there and see so it's just another reason to want to go and try it 
at the end of the day, if we if we spend a day there and we decide, yeah, we still would prefer to get our defense, fine. At least we did some work on our magic training along the way, and who knows, maybe get some nice drops to still stuff that is on the to-do list. So we're never we're never harming by doing zombies or nagoas. It's always going to be positive progress for us. Damn, Renassi, it's 28k at the moment. Glob my off went through on them. I don't know how many Aspari seeds we've had. Okay, uh, compost that, and then we will go to Varro. Yeah, battle stats for the day. Why is it? The fuck? Damn, I must have done yesterday's late. I must have recorded it late. I'm like an hour too early. I'm sorry, I'm two hours too early. So I must have rec Oh man, that's annoying. I'm like two hours too early to get lost staffs. I was excited about these changes. Okay, we are gonna need some of those coins, I'm afraid. We are going to have to get ourselves some blood back. The gloves and feet don't do anything really, so. There's no extra magic bonus anyway. How I'm struggling, I'll put it up, it's worth it. Come on, please. Okay, that was an extortionate price, but we now have ourselves plus three magic bonus, which is grand. Okay, let's just chuck those up on the GE real quick, and that's it. We will get the rest of our bursting setup that we can. Okay, we'll get some runage. Is that what we need for our smoke burst? And we want bloods too, right? Because we're almost there. Bit of food, prayer. We'll take two pots. Guess we'll be using even more today. Dig site, pendant, and what's the other thing? Fuck. Dueling ring. In fact, I'm gonna take three prayer pots. Better to be safe. Let's go. Oh, I meant to look into magic boosts as well. I was thinking about boosting, but I don't know if we can actually get a decent magic boost or if it's just like plus three. No way that's my clue scroll from yesterday. Surely not. I guess it only counts logged in time. Oh, I said this was the worst spot, didn't I? I should go to the other spot. It's just so hard to make yourselves leave once you've damaged them. Are these the rangers? That one is, yeah. I want to block to the minute, so I think I'm just good stood here. Taking a lot of damage though. That's him a big fan. I still never tried the original spot that I was intending to, so I may have to give it a go at some point when I can tear myself away. Like I don't want two of these on me, that's just awkward as hell. Yeah, we've got so much to DPS on here, but we're taking so much damage. I don't even have it on my canvas today, can't see my roots. Okay, we're looking at 45k at the minute. Either I'm performing significantly better than I was yesterday, or the gear and changes are actually making a big difference. I don't know if it's enough of a difference to constitute making this our main defense training plan still, but it is a difference. We've, we've gained like 10 to 15k per hour there from relatively little. We are taking so much damage though. I don't like this spot. I wonder if we could just sound like out of the ranger's range. It's not getting the others now, is it? So much easier when we have blood barrage, because then, uh, blood burst, because then I can just burst to heal up, but it's taking us a while to get there. Part of me wonders if dying to reset is okay. Probably not. Okay, there's nothing up there I need to go right. I'm just gonna go reset. Fucking hell, man. Did not mean to burst a fucking rat. I'm gonna get more food this time, I think. What food do we even have? That's the thing. I don't really wanna be using, like, karambons and expensive food. We need good food, don't we? I'll take the bass. I guess I'll just take some karambons again. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go straight to my spot that I still haven't tried yet. I feel like there's less ranges there, or you can trap them around the corner better, or something like that. So we're just gonna go have a, have a see. Maybe bringing a defense potion would just be like, worth it, but I don't know. All right, we have to figure out who the ranges are though now. So that's one, that's one. And there's one round here? No. Okay, one there. All right. Maybe this only works with freezers. If you can push the, the rangers back, then it, it buys you a lot of breathing room. I'm gonna take so much damage, what's going on? I was not prepared for this to hurt so bad. Oh, there is 61 defense. Might help a little. Get into a better spot, please. Wait, are they both hitting me? It's so hard to tell when they're on you. Hmm. 
I'm still not sure if I'm feeling this, y'all. Our rates have slipped back down. The banking time really hurts us because we have to keep restocking on food rather than just using bloods to sustain ourselves, which is sort of what in my head I would have been doing, which is also costing us more in supplies as well for the food. It's a weird balance, this whole thing. I, I might I might leave after this trip. I really don't know if I'm feeling this. Let's see if we can squeeze out a magic level, but... Oh, no. Okay. I'm giving up. I'm facing defeat. I'm accepting it. This is not the play. It's just not the play. Alright. Let's have a think. I think first things first, we probably need to get ourselves off the ancient spell book. So that's going to be priority number one. I think the best way to do that is by going to Arceus altar. Pretty certain we can use it. I suppose we could go to someone's house all around like the house world, couldn't we? I legit never thought about that before. I'm so used to playing Iron Man. Like if I go to the house party world, can I just change on someone's altar if I need to? To get back on ancients. Okay, we're on Arceus, we're on Normals. We're going to the Grand Exchange. I am going to do Land of the Goblins. Let's just chuck up anything we uh, picked up there. Do I sell the runes for now? I feel like it's probably worth getting our cash back if we're not planning on using them for a bit. Okay, the blood back we're going to keep because we do still want that. That's our plan for raids. Let's uh, grab the rest of this shit though. Here's the other thing I wanted to do. Get some of our little bars. Oh, I don't want to pay too high for them. It's still going to be the best rate though, that's the thing. Like, it's still going to give us a great rate. It's just not going to be as good, which kind of sucks. Okay, we need fire rinse as well. All right, I think I got everything I need. I am going to head on over to this tree. I don't know if we'll be able to get this done today, but reason I was originally considering it, because that agility XP right there, we do need as much agility XP as we can get. Second reason, if we can get to Ubisk, we can do our next step of our clue. I definitely needed to bring more teleports. Should have just brought more runes. Didn't bring any teleports, fucking idiot. And I want to get Alkin, so that we can gain as much magic XP as we can along the way. Man, as if the Pillar of God didn't get lost and fall into the mines. Should have brought energy. Stop at the bank. I think I've probably got too much invent shit as well, to be honest. We'll see. Yeah, so the plan now, folks, is going to be... We're doing this quest, for, as I said, the agility XP, and so we can do the rest of that hard clue that we picked up. Because we got two or three steps done, I can't remember. This is either the third or the fourth step that needs us to go to Ubisk. So doing this is fine. It's a nice little quest. It shouldn't take us too long. I reckon we'll be able to get it done today, but it has been a while since I've done it. I think I've only done this quest once, so I might be misremembering how quick it is. Teleport me straight here, apparently. And then after that, I'm going to be smacking Sulfur Nagua on defensive and Alkin in between every attack and going absolutely insane in the process. But that is the plan. <laughs> but right, so we want to go to the crafting guild. Do I have to ask before picking these? Yeah, so I'm just gonna attempt to... I think the defense will be quicker at Nagua. And if I just alt and have my auto attack on, then I should be able to get an alk in between every auto attack. And then I'll just be training both at once. Same, but at better rates than we were there. Ooh, we need no equipped items. That is kind of awkward for invent space. Kind of awkward. Let me just down this portion. Okay, we have a full invent completely. And there is 65 magic. Now just one level away from Blood Barrage, I think. Blood Burst? No, it's three levels away. Ignore me. How do I pick the mushrooms? I want to be that one. The one with the dweeby heart. 
Always the one with the dweeby hat that looks like a smurf. True, false, false. Go to Heminster to catch a whitefish. I don't remember any of this shit, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I just wanna check what I need on me. I need combat gear on me for this next bit. With all the dyes and some combat gear, is what it says. So that's what I'm gonna do. I guess I need the goblin potion as well. No, I need that shit. Optionally, bring drain a village to combat version. Yeah, we've got done, done that bit, done that bit. Just need the skills necklace. Okay, we don't need that. We've got our dies. We've got a tiny bit of stam. We've got super strength, I guess. No attack potion. This stuff in invent, I guess. Tiny bit of food. We should be okay, but just being safe. Fishing guild. Peace off. I'm a goblin, mate. Can we alk in here? I never even thought. Oh my god, you can alk as a goblin! My head's just glowing. Oh no, I've turned myself into a human. That was not what I meant to do. Fuck. Oh my gosh. This is stressful. That was my last goblin potion death, so no fuck ups, please. Over here next. Pickpocket again. Keep giving us new keys. Oh, I ran out of energy. Smashed it. Oh, I didn't know you could gear up after. I don't think we'll need food, so I'm not going to stress about it. I'm just going to go through and see what it's like. I don't think you have to do it all in one go necessarily, so I can always come back if uh, it gets tough halfway. There's like six different things to kill. I think we'll be struggling to complete this today, though. We did only start with like 25 minutes on the clock or something. Oh, wait, I need to gear up, right? Is that can be a range? Oh my gosh, I should be on defense. Million mage. The last one might be tough. Oh, he's gonna drain me. Damn, took a lot of damage. Okay, takes all three styles, lowers everything, and spawns things. This might be tough. I don't have any more goblin potions, so I'll have to go back to the makeover mage if this goes badly. I'm gonna have to flick it. There's 68 hit points coming in. Kinda just hoping for the best on this. The hit for a 16 is not pretty. And we're dead. Alright, no stress. It's a good job I didn't get Scurry back anytime recently, innit? Because I keep fucking dying. It's like the third death in the past two days. Maybe I'm being too risky with shit. Should just play it more safe. Do you help if 5k or whatever? The fuck? Okay, do we have a followed or teleport? Nope, let's go reset. We don't need to actually reset though. Toad flax potion. We also need runes. So we can get to the Grand Exchange. Jeez, they're expensive. And we can go get the Pharmacos berries. That's easy, no problem. Just gonna take all this shit off so we can actually get back in. Okay. Ring of Duel and to Castle Walls. Okay, and get another one. And food. Beautiful. Back to Fishing Guild. Hoping we can get this just knocked out here. I don't think we're going to do the very last bit to finish it off. That'll probably come tomorrow. But we should be able to at least kill strong bones and finish that portion. Go do a birdhouse run. I'll, I'll try and do the last bit if we have minutes to spare. Hindsight, I should have probably just picked two Pharmacos berries when I went there the first time. In case. But I was cocky. Come on, this animation. Okay. Here we go. Did I cancel it? I keep fucking up. What's going on? I don't know if melee's the best thing to be prone. Maybe ranged. Oh yeah, the problem with auto attacks here, I can't really alk because I'll end up auto in the goblins. That's okay. It's a slow one. <laughs> Excellent. We're done. Let's go do a birdhouse run. Man's even barring. Yeah, I don't think we'll really have any chance to do the, uh, the dogish can stuff here. Probably better off just running over to the bank at the bottom on Fossil Island. Should have brought the Alks while I was doing this. Lots of little inefficiencies today as we've sort of meandered through. It's been a bit of a weird one. I know that. I say that all the time, don't I? Been a bit of a weird one. What does that even mean? Quite a lot of nests. It's nice. 
Wow, definitely a lot. That is a very nice haul. Yeah, I'm just gonna run to the bank. There, that's my last click. Yeah, the XP only 50k today. We got our standard hunter and farming, of course, as well as about 10k in defense in the end from the bits of bursting we did and the tiny bits of combat that we did there in Ubisk. I did accidentally get 500 strength XP as well before swapped over, but you know, it is what it is. 20k magic XP gained is probably the most part, and 10 in hit points as well. So we did get, I think, just one magic level today, up to 65, and one defense level and one hit points level as well. So slow increments, but we did make a bit of progress despite having a mishmash session between half trading and half questing in the end. The quest that we're about to do though, that will be worth quite a bit of XP. Not all of it's especially relevant, but the agility XP in particular is nice. And then we'll be able to do that hard clue, which might be the first hard clue on this account. I'm not actually sure if we've done one before. I'm sure I could find out. We have done one hard clue. Eight medium clues, two easies, one beginner. That's interesting. Well, maybe we'll get our second one tomorrow. Who knows? We do have the blood back, which is a nice little upgrade to our mage setup whenever we are using it. Especially for on ancients using blood spells. But yeah, I think I'm, j I'm like I say, I'm going to be at the Sulfur Nagua now. Tomorrow, you know, we got burbs and herbs as normal, and then I'm just, I'll finish this quest off. Then I'm going to be heading over to the Sulfur Nagua, spend the tra day there training on defense to get to 65. Let's see how much we need from 61. Okay, we need about 150k XP, but I think we were averaging around 90 to 100k an hour when we were at the Sulfur Nagua. So maybe a day and a half to get there is definitely a lot more reasonable than what we've got at the, at the zombies at the minute. And then once we got the 65, we'll be able to do King's Ransom quest, the Knight's Waves training grounds. That'll give us an extra 55k defense XP and some other combat XP. Then we can work on our strength and actually start to slap some falls. It's sort of coming together, it's slow and steady. Hopefully during all that time I will be alking to get this magic level even higher. My hope is by the time I finish doing my melee training, my magic is at, at least 70. Which will make going back to those armoured zombies a much more profitable and reliable technique. We'll be able to kill them much faster. We'll be able to freeze the ranged ones around the corner so that they can't target us anymore. And we'll be able to heal up with the blood burst. So getting to 70 magic before going back there is a low-key side goal alongside doing this melee training. But yeah, that is the plan from here on out. I think I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments if you, if you think it's a solid one or if you think the bursting is actually the right way to go. Even though it's slower to get to the point, it's probably the correct order overall. But I'm, I'm pretty confident that this will be okay as long as I keep up my alkin while I'm doing it. That's going to be the most difficult thing. But I think I can handle it. I'm looking forward to, to giving it a go tomorrow after we finish off Land of the Goblins. But yeah, that's going to be all for me on this one. Hope everyone's still enjoying the series. Make sure you hit that like button. Helps both promote me into the algorithm and just let me know that you enjoy the content I'm creating. Hit the subscribe button too. Only... 34% of my viewers are subscribed to the channel. What are you doing, 66%? Hit that fucking button! Maybe I shouldn't have said that so aggressively, but maybe you wanted me to. Until next time, look after yourselves, be lovely to one another, and I'll see you on the next one.